In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create six options infographic slide in PowerPoint and you can use this particular slide for a variety of reasons. You can use this uh, for the vision slide. You can see here I've just put the icons here and then on each circle you can add the detailed text here. I've just put the icon where you can see a person is just uh, watching from the binocular. And then I have added one more slide where I have just put a straight rectangular uh, uh, shape here and then I have added a few reflections also on this then another slide I have just added uh, without any icons here you can see here on the top and I have added a different shadow effect and one more thing you can use this as a timeline also so let's see how to do this in PowerPoint add a new slide and change the background to light gray color for that right mouse click go to format background and under solid fill i'm just going to select a light gray color then i'm going to insert a rounded corner rectangle go to insert shapes select the rounded corner rectangle you can see here and then just drag this uh, small orange point so it gets fully curved shape outline make it no outline and shape fill I'm going to select white color and if you want you can add the arrow shape also here so the next thing I'm just going to insert shapes I'm going to select this one which is the top corner surrounded just draw the top corner surrounded can you see here and again you can see here two orange points uh, the below orange points or down orange point I'm just going to drag it inside so it becomes fully curved and then the top orange point I'm just going to drag it outside so it it is no curve there so then I'm just going to select this shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can just choose any color of your choice maybe let me just give this color you can see here and I'm just going to paste it here and then I want to add some more shape for that let me just zoom in you can see here go to insert shapes I'm going to select a right triangle draw the right triangle shape outline make it no outline and shape fill may you can select some dark color here and then go to rotate you can just see here I'm just going to select rotate left 90 degrees reduce the size press ctrl D bring it to the other side and rotate you can see a flip horizontal so you can see here it looks like uh, this is folded from here and then I'm going to add a oval shape go to insert shape select the oval shape draw the oval shape by holding the shift key maybe this much size I'm going to keep it and exactly in the center I'm going to keep it can you see here the center should be there and again shape outline make it no outline and shape fill I'm going to select the same color which I've used here and then I'm going to add one triangle here select this triangle you can see here draw the triangle again shape outline make it no outline and shape fill again use the same color let me just zoom in bring it down and make sure that it is at least uh, it is in the center and go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle you can see here from here shape outline no outline and again give the same color and make sure that it is properly in the center you can see here something like this so uh, just one uh, option is ready now it's for me it's very easy I'm just going to select this you can see here press ctrl D to duplicate it bring the other side you can see here and then I'm just going to reduce the size of this go to format you can see here the height I'm just going to reduce it and this one I'm going to select both the shapes and I'm going to make it up you can see here and then I'm going to select both of this press ctrl D to duplicate just put it give the equal spacing here you can see here maybe this much spacing and again ctrl D I'm just going to give the same here and make sure that this is properly aligned now this design is ready now it's time for us to change the colors 
you can choose some good colors so let me just select this one go to format shape fill i'm going to use some uh, turquoise color here again the same color here also i'm going to select the same color and this also i'm going to select the same color and moving to the next one maybe i can use some green color again the best way is we can group it also and do it at once so that also it's very easy to do it and the background also this one also you can just change the color so for this i'm going to use maybe kind of a light orange you can see here again just do it or you can press f4 key so that it will repeat you can see here for this i'm going to select maybe somewhat darker color you can see here i'm just pressing the f4 key and for this i'm going to select maybe this color you can see here so i've just changed the colors now it's time to add the text and some icons let me just increase the size of this from here a little bit that's good now if you want you can give some uh, reflection so many things you can do it you can do some uh, shadow effect also here and for this also you can give some shadow effect for example press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm going to fill this color with black and increase the transparency level you can see here and then go to effects soft edges increase the soft edges you can see here just select like this keep it like this and then go to format and then just send this to back you can see here or i can just say send to back also something like this also you can do it now if you have the icons you can just insert the icons or if you don't have the icons you can add the option number or year so many things you can do it for example let me just insert some year example here i'm just going to say say 1995 i'm going to choose the font which is century gothic any font of your choice you can select here make it bold center align and add it here and then you can change the color to white Control D, then add it here again. Control D, you can see here. You can just press the Control D, align it properly, and then maybe this is 2000. I will just say this is 2005, 2010, this is 2015, and this is 2020. So you can just align it properly and then below here you can add some title and detail text here you can see here this is the title again white font center align the same font or any font of your choice you can choose it and one more text box you can add it here where you can add some detailed text you can see here just reduce the size center align and i'm going to just group this both the text press ctrl g ctrl d to duplicate and add the text one by one on each option you can see here and if you want you can give some little animation to it and uh, you can add some icon also here some you can use this for a timeline or vision or mission so many things you can use uh, this particular design for that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.